you had told me in January I'd be one of the only people defending the Samsung S95D anti-reflective coating on their new QD OLED, I would have told you you're absolutely crazy. Yet here we are. Up next. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we'll be checking out the 77-inch Samsung S95D Quantum Dot OLED in a very bright room. I have become one of the few people that have actually defended this display, especially after I've disliked the matte finish since it was shown and announced at CES. I have thus also altered my opinion, understanding its use case, seeing it in action in a room filled with lamps and ambient light. Today we will see how it performs in a very, very sun-drenched room at our good friends at Value Electronics. Windows all over the place, skylight above the TV. Let's see how the Samsung S95D does against all the other TVs in the room. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, let's do it. We're checking out the 77-inch Samsung S95D QD OLED right there bright room sun hitting the corner of the TV TV is absolutely gorgeous I've already reviewed and checked out the S95Ds we check out the other TVs in the room 77 inch A95L Master Series 65 inch A80L WRGB OLED I have the 83 inch version of that TV at home here I am just simply showing you the reflections without the sun hitting these TVs. 97 inch LG G2, I'm clearly walking around. So again, the sun isn't hitting any of these. 65 inch A95L Master Series, 65 inch LG G4, 55 inch A95L Master Series. Now why show you those TVs? Simply because the sun isn't hitting them directly, yet the reflections are off the charts. They are all mirrors. There is the notorious skylight. Why do I say notorious? Is that anytime I film a TV at Value Electronics, it's always about the glare. It's always about the reflections. Wow, terrible reflections, regardless of if it's an OLED or if it's a mini LED. Now I filmed the S95C last year, did a video on that. That TV was unwatchable in a bright room with the sun hitting it. Now the distinction of saying the sun hitting it versus a sun filled room. Let me spin back out to the A80L with something on screen that's dark. It's a mirror. I know because I own the TV. They are all mirrors here. Even the brand new Samsung QN900D 85 inch Neo QLED mini LED, awesome TV, recommended for a bright room. You can see the reflections on it. Now to the right of me is also a G4. It's blocking some of the window, but a lot of that light is still getting in. Now, it's not gonna do well with sun hitting it directly, but I promise you every TV in this room is gonna struggle with direct sunlight. That's what happens to the screen when the sun hits directly. The color, however, is still there. It raises it a bit, but it does keep reflections away. What I thought was shocking about the S95D is when I saw it at CES in a private event, not the main show, I did not like how it looked in a dark room. It wasn't a bright room, it was a dark room. And that was being compared to a WRGB. Now here we are looking at OLED, I should say. Now here we are looking at the A95L, the corner of it, sun directly hitting it. It does also turn white. Now, when the sun hits it, it does raise the blacks a bit. However, you do not lose the image like you do with the glare. So you have to pick your poison. Is it the glare, the reflection, the mirror you want, or do you still want to see the image? Every shot of the S95D in this video, the video is 26 minutes long, is in a bright room. Now this would be the kind of room you would watch a football game in. You would want to see watching sports. My A80L is a mirror. I will show you in this video my A80J, which I watch sports on on a Sunday. The reflections really don't bother me, but they've bothered many of you. 
so I do find it fascinating it's getting a lot of hate. When this TV was reviewed early on, a lot of people took spotlights and put it right against the screen or flashlight. Well, here's the difference. If you take a flashlight on the other TVs with reflection handling, you will see your actual hand and the flashlight. Now showing you this demo simply because with the sun now hitting the screen completely, you do see it raise the overall image a bit. You do see it white out a little bit. However, the entire image is visible. We are hiding nothing here. You can see the sun hitting the screen at this point. More in the center. Now the sun is going to move throughout the day. There's times where it's going to look darker than others. However, this was shot in sequence. This is how the day went. So would you rather have the screen lift a little bit in a bright room but have the entire image visible? Or would you want to lose the image and see yourself sitting there as I've seen many, many times? Now my goal going there to film the 77 inch wasn't to really see its reflection handling or the glare or matte screen. It was there to simply review the TV. I spent about five hours there with several different TVs. You can see the sun hitting it there. There is the sun above. The question is, can you live with that versus seeing it as a mirror? Taking a spotlight to it is going to make it white. But as I just mentioned, taking a spotlight to a regular display, you're going to see your hand and the spotlight. There's the reflections of the A95L. Now, in a dark room, we see the use case is for a brighter room or a lamp-filled room where the colors don't change at all. In a dark room, it does look amazing. It is a third-gen QD OLED. I also personally do not feel the S90D is as close this year as the S90C was to last year's S95C. The S90D this year is very similar to last year's S90 um c and s95c the s95d is not it is a third gen qd oled panel it is much brighter much more color now we are here also going through the tv settings so we'll get back to business here showing you the flexibility of image later in the evening i actually compared this to the a95l master series to my left and i was very surprised at the results Outside of filmmaker mode and a prof you know, professional mode, which is on the Sony, you could definitely see that standard, vivid, even the movie presets were brighter. What's most important for me with any TV is flexibility of image. Going from static to active tone mapping changes the image greatly. We have the new color booster like live color you can enable it you can change the image very important for me to show you each and every preset on this display what i also find very amusing is that somehow i'm bought by samsung because i saw it at their headquarters even though i did see the g4 at lg's headquarters and the g4 is my favorite tv this year by a lot but i never thought i would consider the s95d to be one of the best tvs in the world and it is. It is the only third generation flagship QD OLED right now. As I just mentioned, I believe the S90D Delta, the difference between them to be larger than last year. So I would not recommend the S90D just because you don't like the matte finish. The S95D is clearly better. Now, if I am bought, then every other manufacturer that has bought me as well is going to be very upset that I'm going with something that's matte versus their glossy screens. I just showed all the TVs in the room. <laughs> but changing the position, understanding the use case, not being so rigid in your decision making, or I should say in my decision making. I don't sell these to people. I don't care what you buy, but I want to see you buy something that you have really thought about and researched and not been misled because one or two videos talk about the reflection handling being a detriment. Now, if you don't like the matte finish, it's not going to be for you. Don't even consider it. I'm not here to convince you otherwise. I am here to show you what it can really do. Me, I personally don't 
mind the reflections at least i said that until i started doing this video and seeing the tvs next to me um, is ironic because i am watching myself film in the screen and saw nothing on this tv that is very impressive i believe we were misled to think it would do great in the sun or we misled ourselves it's clearly the worst beach tv but as i just showed you all the other TVs were barely watchable and the sun wasn't even directly on them. That's just the regular reflection handling for glossy, which I still prefer. And I prefer it because I think glossy looks more high end. I do believe there is something to glossy screens having a bit more contrast ratio. However, that contrast ratio means nothing if it's a mirror. Seeing the QD OLED S95D versus the A95L in a dark room. I did not notice the A95L having an edge in image quality in regards to its contrast ratio. Perhaps in fine detail because of XR Clear from Sony, but it wasn't because there was raised blacks in a dark room. In a dark room, they looked identical in terms of their black level and contrast ratio. Going through the menu here as I'm talking is just showing you the flexibility of image, how natural the TV can look and how overly saturated it can look. It's amazingly accurate out of the box in both a filmmaker and in cinema, or I should say, I think it's movie. Yep, it's movie. And what they do is they can look just like the A95L to my left, meaning they're very accurate. However, you can then fine tune to your heart's content and make it look as much like a Samsung as you want. We're jumping in and out of all these presets, but what's most important is the sun is still behind me. The room is still extremely bright. You don't see me in the screen. You don't see me changing anything on the camera. Everything around the TV is still very bright. You don't see my reflection at all. That is very, very impressive. Even if you don't like the TV, you have to admit, you can't see me at all. Now, right there, the transition between the two demos, you can see how the TV looks without content playing. Now, what's funny is that wasn't the TV off. The screen looks like it literally just turns off. And what you end up seeing is the light disperse across the screen. It doesn't look muddy. It just looks less black. In a dark room, it's completely black. It looks almost like a fabric. Now, whether you like that or not is completely up to you. Some matte screens or semi-gloss screens can look very muddy. They can look very streaky. You've seen a bunch of mirrors in this room with me. Now, walking up to it. Now, in fairness, the G4 to my right is blocking the direct sunlight hitting it. Showing you again the reflections all over the room. See, now even the G4 is catching some of that sun that it wasn't catching before. G4 actually has very good reflection handling. That TV to my right is not really blocking it that much. Trust me, I've tried to block light out of a million different times in a million different TVs. It is impossible to do in the store. Special thank you to Value Electronics later in the video for having me and supplying the S95D and allowing me to shoot in the store for as many hours as I was there. Please consider making your next AV purchase through them. Check the description below for all their information. Let them know that Brian from Brian's Tech Therapy sent you. And while I'm thanking people, special thank you to Jennifer Gala, the amazing Jennifer Gala and her second channel, the HCR Super Channel, as we check out the design. Check the description below for all of Jen's amazing work that you're seeing within this video. If you're a creator using Jen's content, please shout her out and link her below. Thank you. Jen is incredible. Every team member she has, amazing. Love the design. Center stand, you can see it in the back here. Forgive the mess back here. I just shoved everything out of the way. We do have the One Connect box attached to the back of the TV. But even as I go off angle here, you don't see the colors shift. My fire stick is actually blocking the HDMI ports. I haven't had any dropouts at gaming either for the time that I was there. You see my ugly face right there and then you can see the screen. So even right up on it, you don't even see the light change or the colors shift much at all. 
Now there is the 900D. What I'm showing you is just the reflection, my hand. There we go. That Spears and Munsell, it's a dark scene, but I can clearly see the building behind me. There's the A95L, which is off. And you don't see my hand at all. Now, it's brighter on the 900D, but it's not as bright as it was. Uh, it's actually less bright than it was in the back of the room. Where you can fully see me in the reflection of these other TVs. Now, what's ironic is I was editing this this afternoon. I was sitting on my couch at home, not in my studio. And there we are with the A80J, 77 inches on my wall. And there are my windows. So you have to ask yourself, which do you prefer? And the sun isn't directly hitting that either. It's in the same kind of room. And there you see me. That same demo you saw earlier from Jen. And you see my arm. Now you want to see where it really shines and why I believe this TV is the way it is you're looking at a 900c here and you're also looking at the s95d on the top no reflections at all from the light in the room now, i believe that's a q185 below it see there's the light not see the light but it's a q185c 900c you can see the lights above there they are all over the tvs not on the s95d nothing and I mean nothing. This is why it exists. And then you see it off. I'm not hiding anything. What does it do? It disperses it versus that. Which do you want? Here is an S90C from last year. There's the reflection handling. And you can see the lights also lift the blacks on the screen. That's just from the TVs behind me and the lights above me. It makes it look like it's blooming. Now, the S90s had problems with bright. And there's a C series behind me. And there we go. Nothing. That's why this exists. Not an enthusiast, but anybody else walking in is going to go, that's the one I want. It looks like a sticker. Now you can still not like it. I still don't love it, but now I understand what it's there for. If this TV was 83 inches, I would definitely consider it versus the 83 inch G4, which is a TV I am definitely buying. I like it so much, I'd have to see them side by side, even with the matte screen. And I'm in a completely dark room in my home theater. Back to the store. Also, special shout out to the group, um, our community that watches these videos live. Love you guys. You guys watch these premieres. It's why I leave these videos long. I also think it's valuable to show you all the different presets from the display. I'm not a big filmmaker only, movie cinema only or accurate. I want to show you everything these TVs can do. Many of you are going to take these out of the box and keep it in standard, which is fine. But I was blown away by the fact that the reflections weren't there. Now as I deepen the camera, that's more of what I see in person. Then the camera goes lighter, and there you go. Now, Filmmaker, I wanna show you going from accurate to crazy, not accurate, but you have that flexibility. QD OLEDs are all about color and brightness. They are both here for your third gen QD OLED. Now, one of the hardest demos for many LEDs, and also if it's having trouble, is this one here. Sun is now back on the screen, and the entire image is visible. Now, the sun is moving away. I like this scene from Jen as well. They're all from Jen, as a matter of fact, but it's foggy but they're still crisp. But this thought that the image is lost or the blacks are raised so much that they're unwatchable. Yes, if you take a spotlight off of a helicopter 
or a lighthouse, yeah, you're going to have a problem. But again, take that same light and shoot it all over the room and they will all be unwatchable. Now, do I care if you buy the S95D? I do not. I actually don't care what you buy, but I want you as informed as possible. I want you to really see what it can do and what it can't do. You've already seen in this video very early on, it will raise the blacks a bit. Now, as the sun changes in the room, the image looks completely different, but also looks like it's in a dark room. The fact of the matter, any other TV in this room or OLED will not look like that. You will see reflections of me. You'll see reflections behind me. They are not here. That's incredible. And that's what it's for. Now, overall, I think the S95D is excellent and a clear jump from last year's already excellent S95C. However, many of you went from the S95C to the S90C simply because of dropouts with the One Connect box. And the image quality was close enough, about 90%. I do believe that gap is larger this year. I think the S95D is clearly better than last year's S95C and a much better than the S90D this year. Showing you some gaming again in a bright room. The sun is now back. This is all shot in the same day, obviously. Now, I'm not going to go through all the particulars in gaming, but excellent for gaming. I haven't had any issues with dropouts myself. It was widespread with the S95C enough to recommend that people get the S90. C. This year, as I've mentioned earlier in the video, I believe the S90D is still excellent, but I do feel, again, the differences between the S95 and the S90 is not matte finish based. I believe the S95C, or S95D, I should say, is a good deal better. I do feel it's much brighter, it just has better overall image quality. Now, while it's the same processor, it has been retooled, And Samsung is among the best for gaming. I believe they're tied with LG. And if anything, LG, or I should say Samsung, has more flexibility of image, meaning they have more presets. The game bar is a bit more elaborate. Now, I'm dying to see how this TV does at the shootout because it will be going against the A95L Master Series from last year, which carries over this year, and the LG G4, which has a new processor. The new processor from Samsung this year is on the Q1900D AK Mini LED alone. If that was on this TV, it would be game over. But looks amazing in gaming. HDR impact is fantastic. Again, the TV is very bright. Now, if you want to see this TV in a very dark room, you can watch several of my other videos that I did cover. Um, the minute it got dark, I grabbed the A95L and put it next to it. So I didn't get a lot of footage, if any, of the S95D alone in a dark room. But I promise you, it does not look bad in a dark room does not seem to raise at all now towards the end of this video do i recommend it i do recommend the s95d qd oled if you don't like the matte finish if you don't like it at all i'm not going to convince you otherwise but me understanding it and hopefully you understanding it better may help you to at least understand why it's here I think it's going to sell amazingly well outside of the enthusiast community. I am not here to only placate or uh, deal with the enthusiast community. It's for everybody. It looks amazing in gaming, it looks amazing in all content. We also have 144 hertz gaming for PC. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Has this changed your perception at all with the sun hitting the screen, how the other TVs in the room look? Has it changed your mind? Has it reinforced how much you dislike it? Let me know in the comments. 
I'm Brian, this is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I thank you very much for being here. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful night. Love you guys, take care.